Hi, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Crafty Fridays. Today we are going to make some marble stationery. I love writing letters. I'm not talking like email letters, I'm talking about writing letters. I like to sit down with a nice piece of paper and a pen and write. Actually, it's usually a pencil because I mess up a lot, but that's not the point. The point is that I really, really, really love to write letters. Sadly, it's just not really in style anymore. I'm a little frugal and I really love DIYs. I'm a crafty girl, I do craft stuff all the time. So I decided I wanted to make some cool stationery, but I didn't want to make just regular like, ooh, embellish them with stickers or gold foil. I wanted to do something kind of sexy and different and I don't know, out of the box. So I found this really cool technique. It's called marbling. It's really simple. You use shaving cream. Shaving cream is the secret to this craft. It's really, 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 really cool. You need a toothpick, really just one. You need food coloring. This is where all the colors are gonna come from. You need a pan, you can use a glass pan, you can use a wooden pan, well I wouldn't use a wooden pan. You can use any kind of pan you want. I'm really funny about mixing my craft supplies with my regular eating utensils. I just think it's good to keep those things separate because I'm using all kinds of different chemicals and stuff and I don't want to put them in my body because I love my body, it's my temple. I got these from Michael. It's value pack cards and envelopes. They're the kind of cards that you fold over. So I think I'm going to marble the outside of the card so I can kind of write on the inside. And then it also comes with some envelopes. So it's pretty simple. That's all you really need for this craft. That's it. I'll see you guys on the other side. I'm really excited about this tutorial. It's actually the first time that I'm talking on camera. I don't know. Do I seem natural? What do you think? What do you think? Am I dramatic? I don't know. No, I'm just playing with you. You guys will get used to me. Don't worry. Give it a second. So I'll see you guys on the other side. I'm so excited to do this craft though. Let's go. Fill shallow pan with shaving cream. Add drops of food coloring to shaving cream and mix with toothpick or straw. Place stationery in shaving cream. Press down lightly. Carefully remove stationery from shaving cream. Firmly holding shaving cream stationery at one corner, use metal or plastic ruler to wipe off excess shaving cream. Allow three to five minutes to dry. Place under heavy books once dry to ensure paper doesn't curl. Hey guys, we made it to the other side of the tutorial. There's a few things I figured out that I wanna share with you. Food coloring stains your hands. So if you're a hand model or care about your hands being stained, maybe you should wear gloves. That's one thing I learned. Another thing I learned is that you need a ruler. I forgot to put that in the beginning, but I'll put that in the instructions and materials below. I wanna show you guys the finished product, but I do wanna show you guys some of the oopsies I made. I was really just learning how to do it. It's a cool new technique that I had never done before, so it still looks pretty cool but wait until you see how they really turn out. But look how cool. <laughs> look how cool this thing is. Okay, so you still have a fun little border on the inside. It's kind of crazy, it's a little abstract. I think I'll play with that when I write. But look how cool that turned out. It's just such a fun abstract, really easy. It took me just a few minutes. This is definitely a beginner's craft. I played with some envelopes, like doing the lips of some of the envelopes. I did the entire back to others. To Evolve With Mary, from who knows, my new pen pal, my mom, my dad, somebody who wants to write me. Let's see, so you open it up. <gasps> that is so impressive. That is so cool. And then, booyah, it would be a cool little note. Thank you guys for joining me on Crafty Fridays. I had a great time, I hope you guys did too. Enjoy your weekend and check me out next week. Have a good one, bye.